welcome to Art Talk. I'm Jim Lesko. I'll be your host today. And we're very excited about our new, our new guest, first time into the studio, is Jacob Brown. Welcome, Jacob. Thank you. Um, where, um, before we get to explain where your show is going to be as part of Art Walk, I thought we'd just go back a little bit and talk about um, how you came about with art, where it started for you. I, I know that you grew up in Brooklyn, New York. And what's your earliest memory of really wanting to draw and paint? Hmm. Uh, my earliest memory of wanting to make it serious as, as a life endeavor, it's like I really wanted to go to science, but I was not able to. But I was reading, they would call it the good book, and I wanted to be an artist. I said, I want to go for what I believe in as a creator, to express how I feel the way life is towards me and, the w and how I react towards life. And I, I would like to go for the creator that I believed in. But yet, having a relationship with not only myself solely, but with other artists in their depiction and perception and relationships towards the realm that they want to express themselves and how we interrelate with each other. So at a very early age, you were drawn to, um, it sounds like going to museums maybe, and where were you introduced to artists in Brooklyn? Was it in through the schools or? My father, my father took me to uh, museums, the Museum of Natural History, and Museum of Metropolitan Art. He was the one that uh, inspired me to look at that realm because he was into it himself. He was an artist himself. Oh, okay. And I uh, kind of followed his footsteps in that way of uh, wanting to express myself in art. Now, you said that you were drawn to science because that sounds like partly due to uh, your visits to the Natural History Museum. And yeah. Which I have yet to go to. I hear it's an amazing place in, in New York, and, and I have to get down there. But there is a relationship, right, between um, art, visual art, and, and science, don't you think? Yes. The, I think the relationship is very close, um, especially mathematics. Oh, yeah. the geometry of it, you know, of the painting of drawing and depiction you know, of the objects that we see, the cones, the rectiles, uh, rec, um, rectangles. not rectangles, I started to say reptiles, <laughs> um, rectangles, mm -hmm. the squares, and, 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 and the cubes, like that expression, and, and the, um, I would say, in nature, you know, it really thrilled me. Okay. You know, like when I'm doing a portrait, a person's head can be cone shaped mm -hmm. or square or just round, you know, and, and, and with the shoulders, it gives a, a, geome a geometric yeah. uh, um, uh, dimension, the symmetry, the symmetry. Yeah. You know, I agree. Just, just One, I, I think I've heard where some artists will say there's only so many shapes of a head. It's it's once you figure out the shape of the head, then it's the features, right? It's not, right. it's the shape more than, the, than other things. Mm -hmm. So at age 18, I understand that you were sponsored by the Ford Foundation to go to a summer uh, art uh, academy at the, what was it, Saxton River Art Academy in Vermont. Yes. How was that for you to go from Brooklyn up to Vermont? And oh, exciting. It was very exciting. Wow, I never saw so many artists in all my life. It was the very first time. Okay, I went to grammar school and junior high school and high mm -hmm. school. We had our art classes and, you know, and the fluctuation from periods of classes. But the whole realm is just art itself. And it, it was like just that was our whole world. Like, you know, yes. and to express that, say, wow, there's another one over there. I see just how he draws his tree and, you know, how, wow, the way he 
draw us that model. Mm. You know, it's, it's like I, 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 the way I, I see it opened doors to my heart and sight. Mm. I became more exposed to the realm that I wanted to go to, and that was a very blessed time. Well, I was and appreciated yeah. it very yeah. much. I would, I would think that going all of a sudden being surrounded by people who think and are em emote, they're, they're emotionally and psychically, yeah. they're, they're all trying to accomplish and capture and share those feelings must have been just a, a great sense of, of common, being with common people that they have a yeah. common thought that you have a thread that you're not alone, that this is a whole community of people out there. And from that you moved on to getting another uh, scholarship to study for a year, year and a half in Boston at the yeah. School Museum of Art in, in Boston. What was that like for you? It was also exciting, but that was more serious than the summer program that mm -hmm. we had gone into. Mm -hmm. And I, at the time, wanted, wanted to uh, express myself as an artist and wanted to learn very much, but I was going through uh, some emotional problems at the time. And uh, there was death in the family, mm -hmm. and I kind of let that uh, pepper mm -hmm. my whole outlook on things. It mm -hmm. kind of brought my mind down a bit, and I didn't take full advantage. But I did, uh, with with the capacity that I was able to receive, I did my best. But uh, the hindrances was that um, uh, the death in the family affected sure. affected me. Sure, I mean uh, that's still very early age. Uh, around you were about eighteen, still yeah. at that time nineteen, and that still was, is a, a very vulnerable period for everybody. And uh, and a death in family, I, I know personally, can really alter the way one looks at life and interacts with it. So yeah. it's not nothing that's unique, but for you, it it came at a time when you were surrounded by that which you were trying to pursue. Some people are. Will use that, yeah. you know, as 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 an energy to really excel, mm. you know, and they forget about themselves and just pour out their heart and how they perceive and how 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 life is at that moment. At that time, I was not uh, mature enough. I, I became inward, mm. and that going introverted kind of affected my work and perception. Okay, and. So that's, you know, but I did the best I could at that time. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when that time moment was over, um, I missed it. I said, whoa, <laughs> you know, I, yeah. I knew it was an opportunity there, but it's, it's like, uh, I think the, the best thing uh, that I've done in that, at that time moment was a mural that I had did. In Roxbury, right? Yeah. yeah. The mural was uh, my expression and how I was feeling. It was, it was like it was a, a downcast, and but I, I did this mural for the city. It was a summer program, and and, and uh, I expressed myself there, and it also reflected what I was going through, the depression, and how other people was going through. It was a, like a drug rehabilitation center, okay. and um, I did a mural. For that company, not company, but that organization, and to, to show the people how um, people do suffer and die. And that was in the early 70s, right? Yes. Okay. About 71 or 72. I think it was 1971, if I recall. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, I totally understand the um, the connection of period time. So 1971 was an upheaval period in the United States. I mean, we were yeah. coming out of a lot of unrest in the urban core. We had had assassinations of our leaders, yeah. both spiritual and politically, uh, political. We had, you know, the Vietnam War. There was so much that was just constantly bubbling. And so the, um, the emotions of the time as a society were at an all-time high kind of peak, where at the same time people were suffering greatly by loss of family members in the war by loss of, of, of benefits and, and, and you know it was just a really tough period of time. So in the environment, if I understand you correctly, you were trying to capture what people were feeling within that environment in a clinic that was helping people 
transcend that. So the exterior yes. of the building represented what, what people were confronted by. Right, and I, as a, well as an artist, I was going through a similar manifestation, like uh, people in the drugs, they are uh, abusing that uh, chemical, whatever chemical it is. They're still people, but yet um, we tend to forget sometimes. You know, we worry about ourselves rather than that person mm. who's, you know, so I, that I did that person on the wall and that person was me. It's like looking into a puddle. You know, I so said, there's my reflection. That's me, but that is not really me. Right. You know, right. I'm standing over here and that reflection is over there. So when I'm looking at another person. That's me, but that's not really me. Yeah. The other person is a person as well. So you transcend the moment of the person, the personal anguish, it becomes more of a collective. Right, right, just the uh, just way you conveyed the time, there was a time moment where we were all suffering in the realm where we were right. as individuals. We were all suffering during that time, and it fluctuates, yeah, yeah. and I see it that well, way. Well, let me, I, I tro totally get it, and I appreciate you willing to share that, that, that personal side of that story. And, you must have been influenced while you were at the School of Museum of Arts by people that you might not have seen before or had seen other works of theirs. What were some of the, the names that come to mind of people that have really stuck with you as, as, as artists of that period? Of my peer, being so at the Museum of the Arts, Arts when you were there, oh, um, the, the person that really affected me, I, I inspired me was Mr. Huey Lee Smith. He was the one. Um, he was my instructor at Saxons River Academy. Okay. Uh, like I conveyed before, that um, I was, yeah, you know, I didn't take full advantage what I should have, but I, what the capacity I was able to. Uh, function because of depression. Um, a, a lot I missed, but at, at the capacity that I had, the best that I did was uh, to convey my feelings and having it relate to what was going on during the time. You know, about the, the drug taking, yeah. that, that that is a person, that I'm a person, and, and a, a lot of that was uh, hindered because um, my capacity uh, to function wasn't completely uh, at norm. But you were still producing, and that's what I, I think is so yeah. interesting, that you used your art to help process yourself, I'm assuming. Did we it, have up right yeah. now uh, a portrait, self-portrait that you made. Do you want to discuss that? That was from the 70s somewhere? Yeah, that was, um, I did that portrait there, the self-portrait that was at the, um, New England Conservatory. I was in my mop room, <laughs> you know, my break time. You were a custodian uh, at that yeah, point. Yeah, my break time I did that uh, drawing. I was thinking of Cezanne and Van Gogh, and right. I was thinking about the, the school that was at the Museum of Fine Arts, and I said, I, I got to go back, I got to go back, you know, because you know, I, you know, I, I got more, in a sense, attached to my, uh, Potential, I would say, yeah. my capacity, my potential was clearer then. I wasn't as depressed. And so I was thinking a bit clearer, so I was expressing myself more and I was able to take in more sure. information without it being hindered. But the, the, if I may, I think that, that self-portrait is um, very strong. It, it, it still uh, it, it looks to me as someone that's really looking outward and inward at the same time is very in a transition period of like there's life on both ends of that painting for me. Oh. I think you really captured um, a lot of energy there and, and um, that, that conflict that you were at, that this is where I really want to be doing and this is what yeah. I'm not doing. You know, we all catch ourselves in those moments, but I think that if that's what you were going for, I really think that captured it quite a bit. I have another one that I'm going to pull up here is 
You, I noticed your work when I went over and looked at your work before the program. Trees are very important to you. Yeah. And explain. I mean, you talked about science before, and there's a in the in geometry and and how. But your a lot of your work is outdoors. And how's that? Was that by choice or how did um, you decide? I always loved the country. See, because I'm from the city, the metropolis, New York, and <laughs> Manhattan, New York, and then there's Brooklyn, you know, uh, concrete all around. Right. <laughs> yeah, and we yeah. do have trees, and but they're, they're encased in the, the tree fences and stuff. <laughs> you <laughs> well, you got to go to a park, a designated yeah, green yeah. area. Yeah. You know, a while, a while <laughs> before you get to the park. Yeah. So I had that love. And then when I went to um, Saxons River, it was just a new world opened up. You know, it, it, it brought in joy. But not, the trees are, and, 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 and the, um, the grass is, is, is stability and, and it shows life. Yeah. It, 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 it exudes life. And I feel the column of the tree is a st stability to me. Mm. You know, it like um, it's life. Mm -hmm. Continuous and it's, it's like solid, mm. something solid, not spirit, and they're not negating or degrading spirit. But it's like it is physical, it's solid, and it's alive. You can grab it and hug it. That's you know real. You know, it's nothing fleeting. No. It's, and, it's a continuous. And the ones where you see the roots just can, above ground continually spreading out, you just go, wow. Yeah. This is bigger than it, bigger than just a tree. Right. It's like a a generation. Hmm. That's how I see it. I it's have another uh, of what I think might be. I'm not sure if this is an ink wash or charcoal. That's a wash. Yes. Um, that's a, a sea, you know seascape at the beach, and it was a quick wash drawing birds in the distance, you know, a rock, a simple drawing with line, I try to draw line direction of mm. my feeling, you know. I, I usually like drawing water because water flows, it fluctuates, it can get angry or it can get really placid, <laughs> you know, and calm, yeah. you know, moody, you know. <laughs> so I kind of like that because it, it does reflect my my personality at times, I do get moody at times. So, she well, who life. doesn't? I mean, we, we, let's be honest, right? Some of us are worse than others. But, uh, and yeah. here I have one up that's a, 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 another tree, but it's in a, a strange. It looks like it's having it's struggling to hold on. You know, there's uh, a, a cliff-like sense to it. Is this with ink or pencil? It's ballpoint pen. Ballpoint pen. Yeah, I was into um, some economic. E e economic problems, uh -huh. you know, like a, uh, my um, finances wasn't all there. I needed to get that oil paint. <laughs> so I, I, I did a lot of pen drawing, you know, uh, uh, not, not to say boo-hoo, you know, uh, I, it's just that, you know, like to placate my heart and to appease my heart and mind, I went to the element that I could. Sure, you express myself. And a ballpoint pen, you can do a lot with a yeah. ballpoint pen. You can find one yeah. on the street you yeah. know, sometimes yeah, if you're lucky. Yeah, just a pen or a pencil. Uh, exactly. Right? And, and with that one tool, you can do a 50 or more drawings until the ink runs out or the <laughs> graphite is no longer there. 50 until or more. The, right. You know, if, it, it depends on the dimensions that you do, so, yeah. you know. Yeah. to express yourself. So it's, it's, like, it's like having, um, being addicted to drink, mm. you know, you got to. When an artist, when it, it's, it's a poor analogy, I know, and, and, and a bad symbol, but, you know, like the, the, um, um, the addictive. But, you know, we have to, when artists, have to express himself when you when you when you get to, get to when, you know, when I got to that realm of you know I have to mm -hmm. fulfill my potential as being an artist and when you're not there you know it, it like you, you you get a like a flower wilted yeah you know and you get diminished yeah. stunted sure. and stuff and, and then the life that's there is not really there it just get all retarded and and crinkly. 
Well, I give you a lot of credit for finding the tools you need to express yourself. Yeah, what a country, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot is thrown away. You can pick up and make a lot of uh, uh, what that, you we need We could have to. a whole show on that statement alone, <laughs> what a country. Yeah, uh, but no, art is relegated, unfortunately, to uh, lesser than in many people's minds when it comes to the importance of society. And the uh, fact that you recognize that your need is to continue. I have another one up here that I believe is oil from an er uh, earlier period of your time. And, and as a street scene, one of the only ones like this with a figure that I saw. Um, could you, where, what was uh, going on here? Where were we? Uh, it's like at a distance. That's um, influenced by Van Gogh. I love his work, Van Gogh and Cezanne. And, and like I tried to not imitate him, but what I learned and how he inspired me, I tried to incorporate some of his style within my soul and spirit. And I express my perception and expression on the support and using him as, as, a, as a foundation. Well, that's a good foundation to, to go to for sure. And is this another one that we have up right here? There's the, a lot of red and green in this uh, tree and it's oil, I believe? It's yes, it's oil. And can you it's talk about fire. this a little bit? It's the titled Fire. If I'm not, I, I did several of them. It's, it's um, time I was angry uh, because I was going through a, uh, a, a, a court situation that I felt wasn't really just. So I took out my anger on the canvas and, and used to paint. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like I had this anger inside me, so I, I went to the canvas, sure. you know, and, and, and expressed it there. It's, it's, it's like I tried to make the tree burning mm -hmm. and, 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 and the grass is, you know, a, a flame and even the, the water there, you know, even with the, the thick ripples there, yep. you know, it's red, yeah. you know, and the sky is red, you know, a lot of red, a lot of anger, and there's bits of blue and green there, but it's, it's like the anger was overtaking. Mm the whole situation, but the, the, uh, the stasis of me as a person was that I was able to go there rather than uh, to be foolish and get physical. No, it's, a, it's more, if more people use that as a way of transitioning out of anger and to express it versus doing it in another format, I think we'd be a better society. Yeah, sometimes we do not have Always that opportunity, yeah. or yeah. or that or the prudence, because some you know like, like uh, emotions. How it, yeah. anything happens in a moment, you know that the mind can get cloudy, you know, and mm -hmm. and and it's very. Uh, I, um, I I really like um, the psychology of the thing. Well, here I have another tree which shows that uh, to me, a much more calmer that that's obviously you had processed through and you found, and this might not be even in the same period of time period, but this is definitely reflective of a different place that you found yourself in. Could you speak to this, okay, this painting this, a little bit? I think this is the meadow. Um, I've done so much work, yeah, sometimes like, um, it's like an explosion. Um, I did a lot and, and similar pieces, they, they kind of get, the titles get muddied in my mind. Uh, knowing which which is which, uh, this this particular painting, this wash, uh, color colorful a uh, wash, um, is after the period I was angry. It's mm. it's, it's like um, I was calming down from that situation and um, receiving hope again of um, that my life would be better rather than being misunderstood. And I just want to say that you have a number of uh, amazing paintings and, and of nature, and, and you find yourself outside, uh, obviously, in your situation, and you're drawn to the outside, and you use that as a representative of your inner uh, and how you perceive that combination between the two. So do you want to talk about that a little bit? I mean, there's some people that just draw mountains or some people that draw only, you know, ducks. You, know, mm -hmm. you have kind of this 
um, affinity to tr using the, the, the symbols of trees. And to, you touched upon it a little. Is there anything more you want to add about that? It's like Ma, <laughs> Mother uh, Earth. Okay. You know, it's, it's like an expression how she is. She flowers and she's seasonal, you know, and we all get like that, you know. we behave like moths sometimes, you know, like uh, the wind can pick up and you'll see the tree shake right. Right. gently and then a little more forcefully and then a hurricane or two happens, you know, <laughs> and the water is disturbed and things are changed around, you know, like, mm -hmm. like, um, yeah, men do get angry as well, but it's, you know, like I, I, I look at my work, you know, describing how ma is. Yeah, you know, I'm one of those men that really love this bar, you know, and uh, I kind of um, try to find her in nature itself, you know, and especially with the relationship in our society and civilization, you know. I, I want to see how I can really, as as a, as a person speaking you know, uh, and therapeutically, mm -hmm. I'm still looking for Ma. See, my mother had died when she was younger. Mm -hmm. You know, she she she, as well as my father, but she wanted me to do good in school. She made sure the resources she had to, that I would get a good uh, chance in education in school. She did her best. So she died when I was very young and. In that way, I'm looking for Ma, you mm -hmm. know, where, you know, where is she? So it's, it's like I, I, I do a lot of nature work. Well, I want to thank you because I think as a society, we are disconnected with our external, our environment, our, our Mother Earth, as mm -hmm. people call it. Um, and so I think your work really helps make that connection to us, how important um, we are to the earth, and the earth is to us. That it isn't either or. It's not separated. It's one, and it's. And I think your work helps bring people to that realization. So, I just wanted uh, Jacob to tell people that your work is going to be up at the Amherst uh, Community Connections, mm -hmm. which is over at 233 North Pleasant Street. That's the second floor in what's known as the Carriage Shops. Yeah. And your uh, reception is going to be this Thursday coming up on September 6th. And it will be from 5 to 8 p.m. And I'm assuming you're going to be there, hopefully, to greet people and talk about your work with anyone that comes. And um, I wish you the uh, best of, of luck in the program and in, in, in your work. I, and I really do appreciate seeing your work and getting to meet you and hearing how you feel about your work because that informs the rest of us oh. more so. So thank you for coming and joining us today. And I hope you'd like to come back another time. and. And, and be in another show, maybe with other artists to talk about this. Oh, that would be great. I hope I'm, um, my explanation and my perception is, um, if I conveyed myself where it can be understood. Well, you know, sometimes artists is like, well, I kind of don't understand <laughs> that one. You know, but uh, I'm, you know, it's, I, sometimes it's difficult because it's, it's a lot of emotions, sure. you know. And so I, I seek to, uh, with my work, many words in a picture. Yeah, I okay. try. Well, I, you did, know, so. I, I think you did a wonderful job in explaining to us some of the struggles and, and some of your perceptions and, and what's behind your painting to inform us as viewers. I think you did a very good job of that, and I thank you. I thank you, too. I hope to be a benefit. I'm sure you have been. And thank you for joining us. And please take advantage of the Art Walk every first Thursday of every month. You can pick up a brochure that's around town and tell your friends this is a really important way to connect with our artists in the community. I'm Jim Lesko for Art Talk.